I'm with one of the kings of Christmas. You love Christmas. I love Christmas. Christmas music, Christmas decorations, Christmas dog. Uh, and the Prince of Christmas off camera. <laughs> Trying to judge which is the best eggnog. We have five store bought in eggnogs. <laughs> and one homemade eggnog, which you made. I don't know if I've ever had homemade eggnog. It's pretty good. I mean, we'll probably be able to tell which one's homemade, and that's just like its whole other category. Yeah. We have a bunch of dairy ones, an almond one, a coconut one, and then home. Production value has gone up significantly on my sets. I've made glasses. Like it, it is more nutmeg here. Yeah. Were you raised on Baxter? I was. Me too. Yeah. We had the discussion too that you can't call it eggnog unless there's eggs in it. It's got it. You think that's the thickness? I just thought the thickness was like corn syrup. Mm -hmm. This one's much thinner, much whiter. It doesn't even smell like it. It doesn't taste like it. Tastes like cardboard. Yeah. I'd say that's Wouldn't the Wouldn't it be one. bad? <laughs> like egged at your home. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard it's pass in no circumstance would I want to have that. It's almost even cream. This definitely is a tinge of nog. Yep, it's the right color again. Smells noggy. Not as nutmeg. No, 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 smells like sugar. Oh, super sweet though. Like super sweet. Like way too sweet. There's more like a creamy taste to it though than I'm used to. I like that. It's almost like drinking your straight coffee. I like a creamy flavor personally, but okay. like, I feel like nog needs to be creamy. You don't want just nutmeg. No, you need a bit of thickness to it, especially if you're going to cut it with a little Kind of vanilla. I was going to guess it. this is the homemade one. I think it is. See how this one is good with rum. Yeah. Versus the other ones, like, they're almost too thick. You would, like, chunk up with rum. Yeah. This is good. I should have started with this one, and then I wouldn't be, like, taste plain compared to the sugary ones. Yeah. <laughs> I don't put spices in my homemade rum, or sorry, my homemade eggnog. Um, <laughs> I use the rum as I get spice rum, yeah. and that's how I put the flavor in it. So that would be better. It's definitely still thicker than the, than the first number one. Yeah. two. Not as thick as three. Is it raw eggs, or do you cook yeah. it? Basically. It doesn't bother me. Some people that bother me doesn't bother me at all. Rock and <laughs> Whoa! It's super sweet again, but definitely like eggnog. Like if I'm expecting, yeah, like any sort of like eggnog latte or anything like that. That's this what it's is like. The it's very creamy. Yep. And no nutmeg. I think I like this the best out of all the bought ones so far. Yeah, there's, I bet this is fine. I thought this was gonna be the PC one. <laughs> oh, that could be. It. Oh, that's true. Nice and creamy. Okay, last but not least, another. This one kind of looks like pus. There's brown flecks in it. Oh, there is at least spice in it. That's good. Mmm, spicy. This smells really good. <laughs> that tastes like a holiday candle. A sour holiday candle. Yeah, yeah, it's sour. Yeah. Overall, four is probably your homemade, because you know it. Your I'm pretty sure that's the homemade. I think five is my favorite, for sure. And then one. And what about three? That was the super sweet one. Oh, uh, yeah. That tastes like melted frozen yogurt. Interesting. So you think it's really vanilla-y, essentially? Yeah, and super, like, sweet. Five's the best? Five's the best. I'm with you. What do we think five is? I think farmers. I think PC. Okay. Yes. So it's hilarious that you both grew up on Baxter's and you both think Baxter's is something else. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it just Which is probably like, why we like it the best. Unfortunately, the nostalgia, but it's just like creamier than I remembered. I haven't had it yet this year, have you? Not the Baxter's. No. No, I'm going to say the farmers is number one. Farmers is number one? Yeah. Uh, almond is number two. Yeah, that's number one. That must be your PC one. PC's three, homemade's four, Baxter's five, and coconut six. The two and the six, 
are, don't even bother. If you can't have milk, just don't. Just don't yeah. have milk. No it's, it's not good. I was optimistic about the almond one because it was like nice packaging in the fridge. The coconut one was just like in a tetra pack. I knew it would probably suck. Four definitely would only be good, like like you say, when you jack it up with rum. Yeah. Well, because all of these have some sort of spice. You can see there's like pieces of vanilla yeah. in that one. This one's like... well spiced. I'll give them that. Yeah. A little flex in it. A little flex. And this one's got a strong nutmeg. So like, yeah. this is really just eggs and milk and vanilla. But I was giving away my secret recipe. For <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of sugar. Yeah. So you need the, the spice rum to kind of pick it up a little. Yeah. Alright, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!